Hey, Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to draw a j j j j can't think of a good adjective for a jaguar, so let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. You're going to need a pencil and a pen and a paintbrush and an eraser and some paints. And I'm going to start right over here because uh, it's a long body. And I'm going to start with a, a circle, which is going to be kind of for the head. Uh, it's kind of like the brain box, really. And the neck is coming kind of straight up like that and into the shoulder and then down a little bit and then up into the haunches. And I'm going to try underneath my photo there. <laughs> uh, see if I can fit that in up there like that. I would curl it all up, but you don't want it sort of hidden underneath there, do you? And then, so this is the so that the shoulder here, which is sort of coming down to the elbow, and we're going to want a great big leg coming down there. And they're really, really chunky. So we want this sort of deep chest coming like that. And we're going to want this sort of paw coming forward, big, chunky legs. And then we want a kind of a circle on the bottom like that. Um, and then we're going to want another one about here and that's going to want kind of, let's put a line across the bottom like that. And then we want this, um, haunches coming down like that and into that kind of <laughs> dog leg. It's a cat leg, isn't it? Um, which will then sort of come around into a paw like that. And then we want that kind of curve. Actually, let's bring that back a bit more. Let's bring that back more like that. And we'll bring that curve down there. I think that, that looks better. And then we can bring this one into about there. So we want this, all these paws to be around about the same. Now, while I'm drawing this, I'm not pressing hard because I'm going to erase all these pencil marks later. And if you press too hard, it's going to get a bit difficult. So I'm going to ink them in in a minute. Now. I'm going to have this snarling face <laughs> and uh, you can see I've done some sketches here and this is kind of, I'm trying to get this sort of mm, thoughtful kind of face and you know, I was trying to get the mouth open a bit and in the end I thought, no, let's just go for the full snarl. So that's what we're going to try and do. And I want to tilt this head. So let's put that in a circle, sort of line right through the middle. Don't need that top one really. And this is pretty much where the nose is going to go. So put a little triangle like that down a little bit and then bring those um, cheeks. The top, it's the top lip really, isn't it? Around like that. And then, um, and then we want these um, <laughs> scrunched up <laughs> kind of <laughs> folds on the top. And then the eyes are going to be, uh, actually let's have them just slightly angled like that. And then you're going to want to have the eyeballs like that. Um, and a couple of enormous, enormous fangs. And then from here, let's come out at an angle and down at an angle and across. And that's going to be the chin there. So we're going to want these big fangs again and the tongue that's going to be coming like that. And then here we're going to want the ears well back like cats do when they're spitting at you and we can bring the face around like that I think we're kind of there okay so I am going to start with this nose and you've got this slightly kind of curve I don't know seagull kind of shape and then we've got these uh, deep uh, nostrils like that and then this will be coming down and then that kind of line down the middle that kind of bifurcates the the nose and the lips. Uh, and then we're just going to kind of furry dot those, those um, it's the top lip, isn't it? And then I'm going to kind of draw these dots in as well. So this is where the whiskers kind of protrude from like that. Let's put some more dots in. And then uh, we're going to want these uh, scrunched up <laughs> folds like that. And then let's do it like that. And we're going to want the eyeballs is uh, 
so the they're not full circles some of it is hidden underneath that top line and then we're going to want these um, eyeballs like that and then we'll bring that really really dark underneath there like that that's looking good um, and then we want to bring slightly kind of pointed on the top there and then out to the ears and then like that and then you know they're kind of hairy inside aren't they so we'll try and do that um, uh, but they yeah they're really smooth aren't they all together so let's do this curve around there like that um, and get these teeth in these great big fangs and the top teeth and then we get those bottom fangs in there <laughs> so big uh, outrageous outrageous kind of enormous big fangs uh, and we'll have the tongue coming in there kind of like that and so have a bit of darkness in there as well maybe a line down the middle um, and then we kind of got the 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 molars sort of going up like that and put some little lines across there and I think we can pretty much uh, make that all dark in there as well like that and it sort of comes together doesn't it um, and we'll bring that in around like that <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I always kind of build up a relationship with a character when you're like this, when you're drawing them, and, and they're kind of, ah! <laughs> yeah, um, okay, so, <laughs> so let's sort of work on this body now, we'll bring this all the way around to there, and then maybe we want a little bit of, um, sort of the furriness at the back and here it's going to be kind of like coming down and then into a curl for that paw and another one and another one you might see a little bit of something like that and then we'll bring that up to there and then we'll just bring that body all the way down there um let's do this back leg so let's get to come down and into that it's quite a sharp sort of bit there that's the ankle isn't it i think that's the ankle it's it's very confusing these these animals kind of which parts of the legs are which because they're always quite the opposite so you've got you know, the hip and then that's down to the knee this is the knee here down to the ankle and then this is all actually kind of foot and toes down here uh, and we'll just sort of dot that in there and bring that down like that um, and then we'll kind of do something similar down here around and around and around because it got quite a sort of round pause I'll bring that but again we want to keep this chunkiness um i know sort of domestic cats are much more sort of lithe well they i think this is still lithe but um domestic cats are just a bit more not quite so chunky uh, let's put um, some kind of ground on there like that and we'll have some more stuff going on in the background oh let's not forget the rest of the tail coming out there okay so i just used my hairdryer to make sure that is absolutely dry before then i get the eraser and start erasing all those pencil lines so in my videos i would say make sure the ink is absolutely dry and then erase the pencil lines hair dry make sure that that is really dry so i am using as ever my um aquash pentel aquash water brush 
Uh, and again, I'm not sponsored by them. I probably should be by now. So the water is in the handle and it flows through the brush. It behaves a bit differently to a normal brush. So I'm going to start as ever with my uh, Naples yellow. And I'm going to add a little bit of ochre to that, I think. And just do a general, oh, a little bit more ochre, I think. And then just do this general kind of overwash. Kind of like that and all the way down the tail. Um, um, and to sort of about there, I think. And to about there. And then I'm going to clean my brush. So now I'm just painting with clean water. And I'm just going to kind of bring that um, down to let that fade. And again, but then again, I think on the front leg here, I'm going <laughs> to, and a bit down there, I'm going to add a bit more as well, like that. And again, dry that with my hairdryer. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to a bit of Naples yellow and ochre, but I'm going to add a bit of burnt sienna to it, just to make it that little bit richer kind of colour. And I think I'm just going to add a bit more on the top there and on the ears like that. Clean the brush. And you clean the brush, just squeeze slightly and then you just get the paint off it like that. So then you're just painting with clean water. Um, and I think also, yeah, I'm going to add a bit more up here because I think it just still doesn't quite look warm enough and a bit more along there I think and then it's all about the pattern I retold and illustrated uh, one of Rudyard Kipling's just so stories about how the leopard got its spots and um, we don't want to do that I don't want to do that at all wait a minute I just dabbed that away <laughs> I want to sort of start up here and get these kind of sort of blodges like that um, so, yeah, and Rudyard Kipling's famous story, how the leopard got his spots. Um, and it's sort of <laughs> politically incorrect these days, but I sort of did my best to rewrite it and make it sort of acceptable. But there, the uh, I got the, the man, they were camouflaging themselves in the jungle, and the man got his five fingers in berry juice and went and sort of plonked them on in patterns so this is what we have this sort of five spotty kind of pattern thing going on and so we want to do this kind of pattern where we got uh, sort of just blodges where there's a space do another one underneath and then when there's a space do another one underneath and then maybe some smaller ones maybe a couple on the legs um, but that's that's about the lot so I'll dry this because you get that um, different effect with um, painting on dry. If it, if it was wet, it would just sort of merge and blurge into it. So uh, when it's dry, then it will paint on the top. And, and now I'm, I'm going to be using neutral tint here and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, burnt umber. You could use Van Dyke Brown, something like that. So. Um, you could do this with um, burnt umber and then add uh, some ultramarine as well. And then here we're going to do this these patterns. So we're going to do just start on the sort of outside part and think that you're going to be doing these kind of <laughs> five fingers with sort of ink on the end of it, splodge on the top. And we want these sort of sort of circular patterns. And so basically it's sort of five each. The ones on the, the edges will be fewer because they're hidden around the top. And it doesn't matter if they merge or whatever. It's it's a sort of a, it's a game of splodges. And that will start to get that kind of Jaguar splodgy look like that. And it's working your way around these sort of brown spots that we put in already so again that kind of 
um, double double sort of color per thing and then that's the major part there and then we're going to want to have these kind of dots around here as well uh, and make the ears a bit darker too and inside and underneath there like that and we're going to get these kind of smaller dots in there and we can highlight those folds the scrunches and here we're going to want these little ones that, which is just kind of going away from under the eye and then we're going to want like a little chain of spots coming in from the cheek well from the sides like that coming in so a little bit more organized and i'm going back to that yellow ochre again actually and i'm just going to put a bit more in there and i think we might want a bit more like that and it's trying to keep it sort of whitish around the the nose so i'm cleaning my brush and sort of brushing it away and then i'll get a little bit of pink here in the nose so i'm using scarlet and just getting a little touch of it on the end of the brush and brushing that in there and while i'm there i can do that with the tongue as well just sort of brush that in so here it looks really really rich red but if you just take a little bit um, and you know with the water that really thins it down into pink so that's how you're working it I say, <laughs> I say this so many times the watercolor is is about the light the light is coming from the paper and um, and it's shining through the colors that you're putting down on top and that the, the colors are, are like a transparent glaze that you're putting on on the top so now we're going to start doing these um sort of spots we go from this pattern to just sort of spots and put in some big ones like that and and then we can put in some little ones in between and the same down here and we can do the same along the bottom so sort of flick some in along that bottom line there and then again we can sort of do these splodges in there and we want to go along the edge as well like that doing a similar kind of thing like that and then we can do big ones in between it's all about sort of understanding the pattern and you <laughs> so much with drawing and painting and things it's, it's not about the doing it's about the looking and the understanding of what on earth is going on <laughs> and just working out those patterns and shapes and things like that and again i'm going to um, work my way down the tail and do these so these are the ones which are sort of curling around um the edge onto the top of the of the sort of the tube of the tail and then we can do these other ones then in between like that and i think i'm actually going to put a little bit of this sort of ochre kind of color in there i think after all and just sort of bring that down there like that and you're not going to see any pink in there but i'm going to add some pink <laughs> that's too red so I'll clean my brush clean the brush clean the brush so each time you then attack <laughs> that color um you're, you're thinning it down but i just think a little bit of pink that's well, too much again it's it's because the the paint has softened in in the pan and so I'll just you can always then kind of wash it out and get your tissue and clean it up like that I'm gonna shade some of these teeth as well because they're just too uh, white I, uh, maybe maybe they need a little bit of kind of 
um, so the yellowness added to them, those fangs. And then the eyes, I'm definitely going to add yellow. So, so I'm going to get some bright yellow, put that around the sides, leaving that little spot of white for the highlight. And then I'm going to get um, burnt sienna and just drop that in up on the top there which sort of acts almost like sort of shade so the top eyelid is creating shadow on the eyes there and we're going to want a little bit of bit more shade under there as well i think like that and also probably in the tongue like that and maybe down underneath there and a tiny bit on the bottom of this beard <laughs> on the bottom uh, layer I'll put some in there as well so again with this sort of burnt umber and neutral tint so uh, the the insides have stripes like tigers so you can kind of draw them like that nice stripiness coming in there and draw them so that they kind of flick in from each side and and we want these spots to sort of continue onto the pores the small spots like that and we can have them on there and put some extra little bits of you know because the spots will be coming around from the other side around there um, and these again these will have kind of spots on them and then we're going to want a little bit of kind of shading in there as well on, on the underneath um, and, and I think also we're going to want some kind of shade under there maybe a bit there too a little bit in there like that um, and probably in underneath there too and we're going to add a little bit of sort of almost dry brushing a bit of shade in there and in the bottom underneath the tail and then I'm just going to sort of stick some ground in like that right the way across and maybe and then I'm going to stick some actually let's just do a bit of shadow so I'll just put that in to start with and then we'll just sort of drag that into <laughs> the wetness down below I'm going to add a bit of, sort of pink in there for some spots and things like that and I think we can make this a bit darker maybe you get this nice sort of soft shadow and then we'll have some greens so I'll get my oh that's a blue you know, that's no use is it <laughs> I'll stick some ochre in there so we're going to kind of get an ochre kind of greeny kind of thing happening and just bring that in sort of happening behind there and sort of flick those up like that we'll let that dry and then we'll sort of do a second layer which won't be quite so <laughs> aggressive was that the word probably yeah quite so uh, anyway that's this yeah so this layer is a bit nearer to you and the, the the other one is a bit further away so you've kind of got two sort of levels sort of focus um depth of field i suppose you could call that and I think I might just add a bit more kind of neutral tint. I'll just add a little bit more shade in underneath there, I think, and maybe a bit more sort of under there and in the ears. Um, and maybe just a tiny bit there. And a bit more under the tail there, I think. Oh my goodness, this is a couple of hours later. I'd scanned this in and was starting to work on it, and I realised. I haven't given him any whiskers, so I'm going to just 
put these in there like that sort of slightly kind of you don't want them you know just one two three they need to have one or two crossing over each other and i think that, that sort of finishes it off so thanks for watching make sure you are subscribed to the shoe rainer drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye